Hello and welcome back guys to the only series on YouTube where a fully qualified English teacher fails at answering Japanese university entrance exam questions. Um, last week I got a lot of questions wrong. I think I got two, two out of ten questions wrong, which is fairly impressive. Um, just shows to, just goes to show how easy uh, English is as a language. Anyway, this week we are looking at. Waseda University, but it is the School of International Liberal Studies. Uh, we have two. What do we have to do? We have to fill in each of the numbered gaps uh, in the following dialogues with phrases from the corresponding list below. Select the one that does not fit in each case. So it's some example speech, and you have to fit in the incorrect um, option from the list. There are three sections with three questions, so nine questions all together. So let's just go right into it. I will read the whole dialogue of each question um, from each qu uh, and then fill in the blanks as I go. So, hello, come in. Hi, Professor. Blank a moment. The options are, could I have, could you give me, could you spare? May I have? And would you share? So, could I have a moment? Correct. Could you give me a moment? Could you spare a moment? Correct. May I have a moment? Correct. Would you share a moment? Uh, okay, so it's between B or E. Could you give me a moment? Would you share a moment? Um, and I think they're both not, they both don't really make sense. But I think that would you share a moment is wrong. I think that is the wrong answer, so E. Question number two. Sure, what would you like to talk about? I would like to ask, would you blank an extension on the paper for the course? Would you allow me, approve, deliver, give me, grant me an extension? So, would you allow me an extension? Would you approve an extension? Would you deliver an extension? Would you give me an extension? Would you grant me an extension? Uh, the one that is um, out of place here is C, deliver. Um, as you can see, allow me, give me, grant me, all have the word me. So, they're talking about themselves, which means that is, well, it doesn't mean it is correct, but they all share me so the subject is saying can you give me can you do me something um, which is correct approve means to allow something to say yes you can do this but deliver means something completely different to give something oh well, to give something to someone yes but uh, uh, you would always say you don't I can deliver you a watch yeah I can deliver it to you if I put it in a package and I send it to Japan wherever you live, uh, then that is correct, but you can't deliver an extension because an extension is not a, a real thing. So the answer, after all of that, is C. Okay, question three. Why do you ask? I have been sick. I see. I have a medical certificate. Can I watch it? Could I have it? Could I see it? May I see it? May I take a look at it, please? Um, the obvious answer to me is A, can I watch it please? Um, the verb watch is only used uh, with something that is moving. So you would watch the television, you would watch somebody play League of Legends, you would watch um, a car drive past, but you, were, you wouldn't watch a piece of paper. You see a piece of paper, because C is just looking at something that isn't moving. Watching is, is seeing something that is moving. Uh, so the answer here is A. Okay. Done. Two. At a crime scene. Were you in the bank at the, at the time of the robbery? Yes, I was, officer. Blank. Tell me what happened. Tell me what you saw. What did you see? What happened? What happened to you? Um... So, were you there? Tell me what happened. Tell me what you saw. 
Those both are correct. What did you see? That's correct. What happened? That's correct. What happened to you? I, th I think, okay, so I think what they're going for is um, C, uh, E, sorry. What happened to you? Because the criminals robbed the bank. They didn't rob this person. They didn't do anything to this person. They went in and they took the money from the bank. So I think the answer here is E, uh, what happened to you? The robber ran in carrying a gun. He had a stocking over his face. I was very frightened. Was there anyone else with him? No, blank. He was alone. He was on his own. He was single. There was nobody else. There wasn't. Uh, okay, so the, <laughs> the answer here is C. He was single. Um, when you describe somebody as single, they uh, do not have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Uh, or a husband or a wife or whatever. Um, if they are single, they are not in a relationship. So, the answer is C. Uh, who knows, the robber might have been in a relationship. Maybe not. Maybe he was robbing the bank to buy a nice engagement ring for his girlfriend. Uh, who knows. <laughs> um, um, would you be willing to come down to the station to make a statement? Blank. I would be happy to. No problem. That's fine. Yes, I do. Yes, I would. Uh... The answer is D, yes I do, the word do, the verb, does not make sense in this sentence. Um, okay. Dialogue number three, at the apartment manager's desk. Blank. But I stupidly locked myself out of my apartment. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry to trouble you. Sorry. Oh, there's only four. Okay. Um... The one here is B, I'm sorry for you. That means that something bad has happened to this person and you want to express that you um, you feel sorry for them, um, you're sad that this has happened to them and you want to help them, uh, which doesn't make sense in this context because you are apologizing for um, bothering this person. So the answer is B. Where is your key now? It's inside the apartment, room 27 on the fourth floor. Well, there is a spare key to your door. Blank, I use it please. Can I use it please? Could I use it please? May I use it please? Might I use it please? Shall I use it please? Um, okay, so in English, in modern English, we would say, can you, could you, may you? Or sorry, can I, could I, may I? We wouldn't say, might I, or shall I? Um, the incorrect answer here is E, shall, because it's saying, offering a suggestion. Here's, um, they're, they're like, oh, I'm hungry. And you say, oh, shall I go to the shop and buy some food? You use shall as a suggestion. You're not suggesting it here, you're asking for permission. Um, so, can, could, may are all correct and used. Might is correct, but we do not use it in English, and shall is incorrect. So the answer, after all of that, is E, shall. And the last question. Okay, but once you get in, bring the key right back, and please blank to keep your key with you next time. So, and please be careful to keep your key with you. Please be sure to keep your key with you. Please make careful to keep your key with you. Uh, please make certain to keep your key with, key with you, and please make sure to keep your key with you. Uh, the answer here is make careful. C. Doesn't make sense. Make careful, do not go together. Uh, the answer is C. Make careful. Um, these two words do not make sense together. Make careful. Be careful. Perfect. Um, please be careful to keep your key with you. Makes, makes sense, not quite correct but it makes sense uh make careful does never never goes together so the answer is c make careful and that is all of the questions for i went to grab my mouse from my pc but i'm using my laptop um <laughs> that's all the questions for waseda university school of international liberal studies and i will hopefully see you next week goodbye make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel see you next time take care